Hi everybody, it's Sally with Vintage Discoveries here with some more vintage jewelry to explore. Excited? I know I am. But <laughs> some things uh, you may have seen. Um, I think this is might be Autumn Splendor. I don't know why I think that. I think it's definitely in my book. It's the early Sarah Coventry. Emmons. My dear. It's in really good condition. One of my favorites. Love it. I have this one, which puzzles me a little bit. It's dried flowers with a glass piece over it. This is sterling. 925 and I think the name escapes me. Oh, I have my thing here. I think it says Joy or I don't know. J something. I'll have to look it up again. I'm not sure what this material is. If it's molded glass or not. But the top is glass. And it's got some old flowers in it. Really cool. This one. I believe it's like a dyed mother of pearl. It's got some pretty rhinestones. This is also sterling. It's a pin. And you could also wear it as... Uh, pendant. It's got a loopy here and a loopy there. I think that's where the 925 is. Yep. So it could be worn like that. And I guess you could put it through one or you could put it through both for some stability. And it hangs like that. Or like this. There's a few ways to wear it. I'm guessing you could wear it like that or just like that. Really pretty. This is nice. From what I can tell, it's unsigned. But it's done very nicely. All the animals on it. Lightweight though, not a heavy piece. You might have seen this stuff before. I'm revisiting stuff, trying to sort out what I'm gonna uh, have on the auction, what I would put on eBay. I can't keep too much stuff anymore. This is beautiful. I've always loved this. It's like the reverse carved, reverse painted dome with the bird, kind of like a bird of peace, I'd say. This necklace, let's see. This has a designer name on it, and I could I think I totally forgot what it was. Uh, let's see. Where did it have the name? These are like stone. Where was it? I think it had a name on it somewhere. I think it's, oh, <laughs> it's on every little piece. What was the name again? Oh yeah, okay, this is not, this does not um, puzzle me. It's a different one. Um, Delphine Nord Paris. Yeah. It's all over the back. <laughs> How did I not know that? It's very organic, very rugged. I don't know what, what, what would you say it would be? Organic, kind of rough. It's pretty, it's different. I've always loved this. 
if they're hollow, lightweight, just a spring ring clasp. I guess it's the color that I love. The turquoise thin plastic. I think it's really pretty. These I could never wear before, but I can now. This is Premier Design. Yes, my memory is working. Neat, right? And it looks nice on. Like I said, I don't have a very small neck, but I can wear that. This, I know there's a name for it. Not hologram. There's a specific name for that. I have to look it up. Uh, there's no maker on here. But I've had one of these before. This is bigger than the other one that I have. Kind of like sunflower, but there's definitely a name for that. I need to think of it. Love these earrings. These were lost and now they are found. They remind me of 80s disco type of thing. Right? I'm trying to find the other one so I can show both of them. I'm trying to be difficult. But I love the style of it. Don't you think it's kind of like, um, like Art Deco, right? Trying to find the other one. It's here. Just doesn't want to present itself. But yeah, here. They're pierced. I would say 80s, 90s, right? Articulated. Love that. that then we have this. Ooh, I love the way the flowers are on this. A big locket. I mean, it's not like a bright silver. It's not shiny. It's it's very patinaed. Right? I don't think it's any kind of precious metal. It's hard for me to get it open only because my nails are kind of thick. You know, I got the press on nails. Just went with the plain color, which I love. I don't always gotta be blingy, but this is nice. It's really nice. I don't know what kind of flower it is, but it's really pretty. This is different as far as um, scarabs are concerned. I don't normally find them in red or white, but this is red and white. And it's really pretty. It's different. I normally go for the the natural stone ones I absolutely love, but this is different, so therefore I like it. This I still have. This is sterling and it's grape leaves. At least that's what it looks like to me. I don't know where the mark is on this. It's not there. Not there. Where is it? I'm sure I've tested it in the past, but I can do it again because where is it? I mean, either way, I love it, but I bought it as sterling, so better be. Oh, I still have this. This is. 
you know, amber, carved amber, and it's got gold filled chain. The only thing I don't like about it is I think this was replaced. Somebody put this on here and took the gold filled piece off or something. And I just, I hate it on there. I think I'm going to replace it. Now, I'm not too familiar with what it's supposed to look like, with the, but I have one of those lights. I guess if I have the light on, it's not going to tell, but it's a really ugly color. It's so hard to see. It's got such a weird color when you flash that on there. Right? I can't believe I found my light. So happy. Guess where it was? On top of the refrigerator. Hiding on top of the refrigerator. <laughs> Not really. Uh, but yeah, I'm so glad it's Wednesday. Can't wait till this week is over. I have this tag on here from my booth that I no longer have. And I'm so glad because it's my birthday weekend. All weekend, yes. Well, it's going to start Friday. Just is. I don't know what I'm going to do. I don't know. I'm just happy. If anybody knows me, they know I love my birthday. Happy to celebrate being around. This is Sandor. Excuse the noise of the dog. Neat. I think it's too small for me. Uh, let me see. Oh, yeah. Probably like a 15 incher. Because it's old. It's a good name. And it has a piece of dust on it. Clunk. It's old. And it's small. I really like the beads on that. Got this really big uh, damascene. That's a big one. I don't know why I'm having trouble figuring out how that bird's supposed to be sitting. Where you that one? Very nice. That's a big one. Still have this ring, silver, like a, what would you call it? A silver, uh, an arm, not armor, not armor. Is that what I want to say? Kind of like a shield or something like that. Crest. I like it. At first I thought coin, but no. Oh, I still have this, um, clatter, clattering. It's a classic. I should just keep it. A little Irish. I don't think you gotta be Irish, but. It's a classic. I have another copper ring that I think I'm gonna group this with. Whatever copper I have, I'll just bunch it together in the auction, which by the way is so far next Wednesday, same time, six o'clock next Wednesday, which would, the date would be the six, uh, ninth, I think. This is neat. I think it's copper and brass. It's got the little things on top, but it says, Genuine copper. And this is really neat. A nice, nice bangle. With the twists around. Very pretty. Especially to stack it with. Let's see where this is marked too. It reminds me of bananas. Because I bought this as sterling, so... I will test because I haven't 
looked at that in a long time. This is sterling. Unfortunately, it's too big for me. I think it's like a nine and a half or something like that. But I love that wheat design. Cool, right? I like a, a ring on this finger. This is Chico's. You got glass and enamel and some coppery stuff. And it's Chico's. If you like the sea life, get ready for the summer. It's nicely made. What else we got? Plenty. Good and plenty. This is a classic. I had a few of these. This one is, it's all different flowers. This is uh, Kirk Pewter. And this is the John Quill. They come in all different flowers. The cuff. I'm sure you've seen them before. Very neat. This is an adjustable ring, I think. Yeah, that's adjustable. Uh, oh yeah, I can adjust it. You you get the idea. That's nice. You know. For what it is. Well, this is um, newer, but this is the kind that you super long and then at the bottom you just, you can make like a little, like a flippy knot as the colors and like the mabe pearl at the bottom. Very neat. No clasp. You just wrap it around and a couple times and do a little loop-de-loop. -loop. I wore this at, at the auction. I don't know if I ever showed you guys before I wore it, but this I got from Gina Gay on her channel. I love it. Reminds me of the 80s. Maybe 90s. Chunky. And bordering on outrageous or a little, a little grandiose or whatever you want to say. It's just awesome. I love wearing it. Got that. That's for me. And I'm going to say that's for me and me to wear. <laughs> oh. I think this is Goldfield, yeah. I gotta find the other one. That would be important because I love them. Oh, this is a really big Christmas pen, pin brooch that I have to stick with the Christmas stuff. It's enamel, like a sleigh. I mean, I'm sure it goes this way. I'm not sure why. I guess they had to put the pin that way for sturdiness. It doesn't have any name on it, but look how pretty. Isn't it pretty? I love it. Love. Exciting and new. This is uh, black glass with a really thin barrel clasp. But this is nice. It's a nice length. It's probably like oof, at least 24 or more. Nicely done. Very nice. This, I guess, I think I had it on a different chain. On a chain that was very ugly and weird and I didn't like it. But this is cool. I think it might be missing a couple of red 
Or else maybe it's supposed to be graduated like that. I don't know, but I love it. Gonna have to wear that. Um, oh. This is an earring. I'm gonna put it with the other earrings. What does that say? Oh, C-H-A-R-E. Not sure how they pronounce that, but... Oh, it's missing a pearl. Louie. That's pretty. What did I say? Oh, B-N. I thought it said B-U-N. Do I have the other one of this? I really did think it said bun. Moose. Well, that's pretty. More earrings that I have to find matches to. And I know I have the other ones. I just... Ugh. Putting them all in the same spot. I know I have the other one. This is plastic, but it looks like stained glass. Same with this one. Really neat. Yeah, the matches have to be somewhere. I believe these are Monet. Yep, those are nice. And I believe I have them. And they're in another container. These are just kind of waterfally, super duper lightweight. Surprised they don't say West Germany. They don't, but they're super light. I bet these would be easy to wear. And they got a lot of movement. I like those. I feel like my fingernails coming off. Not my real fingernail, but you know what I mean. This. Interesting. I hope I would find the other one. Oh, these are Monet. I believe I did have these in silver also. Hmm. I do believe. They're like a classic, right? Oh, I love this one. <laughs> Stop hanging off of it. Let go. This would be cute for um, any time, but like St. Patrick's Day. If you didn't want to wear something, you know, to shamrocky you could just slap this on it's really cute i love it put that to the side like that lightweight plastic still very cool enamel leaf. Looks like enamel on copper. Oh my gosh. I have so much. What is this? Oh, speaking of um, St. Patrick's Day, yeah. Got a whole bunch of those. Shamrocks. This is kind of like what you would get at Hallmark, right? But it's not, not labeled. God loves you. Looks like Holly Hobby, right? Then you have this enamel one with sparkles. Oh, I like that. Oh, this is really cute. I wish I had earrings like that. Like with the big 
gold horseshoe. I like that a lot. Oh, wishbone. Oh, I love this one. Love this one. It's a little dirty. But I love that one. Oh, these are like the cufflinky things. I think I have a set of these. Let me see. What's this? Maybe they're gold filled. Let's see. I don't know what this is. But I do believe I have another set of those. That is not a shamrock. <laughs> that looks like Avon. And that's the dogwood. Yeah, close enough. Another wishbone with a painted shamrock. I think... I'm going to say Jerry's. What do you think? I get the feeling it is. I'm looking. Yep. Cherries. So cute. I love that. Well, I think on that note, we're going to end it so I can clean this up and separate it. <laughs> and there'll be a lot of this will be in the auction. Um, but if you have any questions about anything, if it'll be the in the auction or, or what have you, then just go ahead and email me at vintage.discoveries21 at gmail.com and uh, try to get back to you as soon as I can. And hope you have a great week and I will see you soon. Thanks. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. A lot of a lot of my viewers aren't subscribed, which is weird, right? So hit that subscribe button so you can see my videos. And I'll be back soon. Thanks, guys. Bye.